Hey guys, this is Anthony Morganti from AnthonyMorganti.com. This is episode 23 of Learn Lightroom 6, Lightroom CC. Quite often, I'll advertise my Lightroom presets on Facebook. And when I do, I use a really kind of weird image of a person often. And the person's often like upset or fretting, like Lightroom's making them very frustrated. And of course, if they use Morganti Lightroom presets, everything's fine. So... When I do these ads, I invariably will get a lot of emails from people asking me how I get the portrait to look the way it looks. And I've often referred to this as a Pixar look. I don't totally agree with that. It doesn't really look anything like Pixar. But that's what a lot of people call it. And if you look at this portrait here, and I've often used this image in an ad, this is kind of the look. And this is the before image. So there's before and there's after. And it's actually very easy to do in Lightroom. So I thought I'd do it in this episode to show you how it's done. And we're going to do it to this image here. And I've actually used both of these images in ads in the past. So for this image, really what you typically for this look, you'd prefer a shot that is done in the studio or in something with controlled lighting and more importantly, a controlled background because the um, adjustments that you'll be doing are going to be affecting the entire image. There's no layer capability in Lightroom, so you can't just single out the person. So if you have a really busy background or a background with a landscape behind the person or something like that, it might really make that look odd because that uh, the, the adjustments in Lightroom affect everything. So in this case, we have this young lady in front of a backdrop. And to start out, usually we'll just go to the basic panel. And what I want to do is I want to try to get as much um, detail on their skin. Now, this young lady has like some freckles here. So typically, in a, especially in a studio situation, your highlights are going to be a little bit bright. That's usually what happens, at least in my studio. And you can see here, and actually this isn't a shot from my studio. This image is from Adobe Stock. So, but to give you an idea, the same thing kind of happens. The highlights get a little bright. So I usually just start with highlights and I'll bring them down just enough so I'm getting some detail. In this case, we're seeing her freckles. So I just want to bring it down till we get some detail. We still want to have some highlights in there because it's going to give some sculpt to her face. So we're going to bring highlights down. The next thing typically I'll do, I'll skip all the other sliders and I'll go down to clarity and I'm going to turn clarity way up. And that's kind of the secret of the, the whole setting. So you're going to bring clarity way up. I mean like ridiculously high. Like in this case maybe around plus 75. Now the next thing is color is always a little odd in these these uh, types of images. So we're going to go to Vibrance. And what we're going to do is going to be a little, kind of sound a little odd. We're going to bring Vibrance up just a little bit, though, usually between, you know, like 20 and 30. And then we're going to bring Saturation down. Now what we're doing, actually, is Vibrance usually will affect all the colors in the image, but it kind of leaves skin tone intact. So we're bringing Vibrance up to try to bring up the color of her hair and the color of her eyes, the color of, um, you know, her clothing. But when we bring saturation down, we're going to bring everything down, but specifically her skin will get kind of washed out more so now than the other things in the shot because we brought those up with Vibrance, if that makes sense at all. So we're starting to get to that look. Uh, here's our look now. There's before and there's after. Now you could come back up here with some images that might have a lot of contrast in them. You might have to add a little exposure and move the shadows, whites, and black sliders around a bit. Now in this case, I think our hair is a little dark, so I want to open up the shadows a little bit to get some more detail in her hair. And whites and blacks, I really don't think I need to do anything for this specific shot. Now again, sometimes you will. You'll find that um, it's just a little too, the darks are a little too dark, the whites are a little too white. You might have to move the whites and black slider. You may have to move the exposure slider to try to balance everything so it looks right. So you're going to have to play with those three sliders a bit. 
We're going to go to contrast and add some contrast. All right, now we're getting there. There's before and there's after. Now we'll go down to split toning. And this is purely optional and purely what your taste is. There's no real specific split toning look. But typically you want to color the highlights a little bit. So we're going to go up here to the highlight swatch right here. And we're just going to click, let's say we're going to try something a little cooler. So we're going to do something more towards the blues. If you want to try something warmer, you could go more towards greens, yellows, whatever. You could really give it an odd look. And it's, again, totally optional. So I'm going to go something like, like that right there. So just click around in here and see if you get a, a tone for the highlights that you like. Finally, we'll go down to detail and we'll add a lot of sharpening because that's the whole kind of look. You know, everything is like um, overly sharpened, overly detailed. That is the look itself. And then if you want, now we have kind of a vignette on our background. But if you needed to add a vignette or something like that, you could, of course, do that. And that's our look right there. There is before, there's after, and there's them side by side. Just like that. And you can see we have a lot of detail in this image. We could even see the little kind of hairs on her face. There's so much detail in that. And the idea, too, again, is to boost up the, um, or the, um, the uh, vibrance is to kind of get some keep the color in her eyes and keep the color in her in her clothing but to bring bounce down saturation kind of washes out the color in her face so that's it for episode 23 thank you everyone that watches my videos i truly do appreciate it i'll talk to you guys soon